Well, for a long time, Oklahoma was a long way from the bright lights of Hollywood, but thanks to the advent of cheaper technology and progressive state tax incentives, more films are being shot across the state than ever before. Joining me now is our Elisa Hines. That's right, Rob. The growth of Oklahoma's film industry has meant not only more big budget films, but a growing number of smaller productions that nearly always make use of local talent. And we were able to go behind the scenes of a local production being shot in and around Old Mogi. Is this the lab report I've been waiting for? Yes, that's what you've been waiting Thank for. You. It's a scene straight out of Hollywood. Or is it? Okay, thank. Julie Roberts is the digital media instructor at Green Country Tech Center and says you don't necessarily have to go to Hollywood to be the next Steven Spielberg. Oh, I can hear. I can't see. I don't have my glasses. I can hear you. <laughs> this field, you know, used to kids, if they wanted to be in some kind of video production field, they had to go to Hollywood or to New York or somewhere. But there are so many job opportunities now around here. For example, the mega churches, uh, people are doing recruitment videos, they're doing training videos. So kids trying to learn this field now, they don't really have to live in Hollywood or live in New York City. And uh, so we're finding that our kids can actually have jobs in Oklahoma, you know, instead of having to really go far, far, far away. One such aspiring independent oh, film producer yeah. is Tyler Roberts who just happens to be Julie's son and former student, and says he started making short films to create a demo reel for his acting. But somewhere along the way, things changed. That's good. And then I started making films and I noticed that, not to brag or anything, but the films that me and my friends were producing looked better than some of the smaller independent films. So after a while I was like, well, we could probably put together a full-length film that wouldn't look bad. And then once I got into it, I was like, I'm not going to be able to act and direct in this at the same time. I'm going to have to just direct and shoot it. So that's how it started. And I still want to act, but just not at the same time. <laughs> Matlock London co-wrote and stars in the Only Ollie movie, filmed here in Oklahoma. Well, I better go. And says it's okay. all about changing Bye. the way entertainment is done. Hey, you better not tell a nurse, Helen. Me and Tyler kind of partnered up together in a, a, th in a production company called Revo Productions, and our main uh, focal, focal point is to uh, revolutionize, which that's what Revo is short for, uh, revolutionize um, the media, um, whether it be through movies, any type of entertainment. Um, and we really want to bring just a fresh flavor to what things go. It's, it feels like everything's kind of been done, everything's kind of been said. It feels uh, sometimes like a broken record or like, you know, these people can't get into it because of this or these people can't because of this. And we just want to bring just this big uh, pot together and just have it all thrown into where everybody can just enjoy the whole stew of entertainment. Now Tyler says sometimes it's difficult to find a cast and crew so far from Hollywood. But there is hope. There's a lot of really good local talented people that I know, just that I know personally, that I've worked with probably in the past on films, that, that are going to be on, that are going to help me out on my set, and actors that I've worked with and acted with that are going to be on my set. But that's probably the only downfall is everyone that's good or talented, automatically they rush to LA or they rush to New York. So I think there's going to be, I really think there's going to be a revolution of film everywhere and not just on the coast. But it's going to take a while for actors and peep and crew to realize that there's, there's local jobs, there's local sets, there's film crews here. And technology is making it possible to bring Hollywood to Oklahoma. That was, that's really one of the things that people always say, or they figure out you're shooting a film and they automatically call you Hollywood. They're just like, oh, Hollywood. And you're like, eh, no, I, I still live here in Oklahoma. Um, it's because technology is so advanced now. It's, I mean, you can get amazing cameras that look amazing anywhere now. You don't have to be in Hollywood. It's not, it's, it's huge with the rush of digital cameras and HD. You don't have to be anywhere. If, I mean, if you're dedicated and you love art and you like to make films, it, it doesn't matter where you are. I, I don't have any desire to go to LA or anywhere, really. As long as I can do it here, and I can, so I will. And so he has. 
Tyler and Matlock have finished up filming on their movie entitled The Only Ollie and are now in the editing stage. So give us a little preview. Okay, the movie is about a mentally handicapped young man who wants to follow in his father's footsteps of being an author. And we get to see the struggles that he goes through as he tries to become a children's writer. And Matlock says, you'll laugh, you'll cry, and you'll definitely be moved. That sounds, that sounds perfect. Any, any idea about when it will be released? We don't have an exact date yet, but they seem to think that it should come out sometime mid-spring of 2012. All right, thanks for the story.